What's going on? My name is Brandon Epstein. Welcome to my channel, Mental Fitness Training, where I teach you how to control your focus and choices to live your very best life. Now, in today's video, I'm gonna share with you my six-pack mindset secret. So I'm gonna tell you what mindset secrets I utilize every single day of my life to maintain a six-pack 365 days out of the year. Now, before I do, I also wanna let you know that the principles I'm gonna be sharing in this video can be applied to just about anything. So if you don't care about a six pack, continue to listen, continue to watch this video because I'm gonna give you something that you can apply to other parts of your life that you may care about. And before I actually share this secret with you, I wanna let all of you know that I have a free mental fitness workbook that I put together for all of you in the community. It's linked up in the description below. Just click that button, put your name and email on my website and I'm gonna send it directly over to you for free. This is literally my book that most people go and they tour around and they try to make a bunch of money off the book. I'm giving it to you 100% free because I think this information is so important and powerful that I want it to be democratized and I want everyone to have access to it. So check it out and now let's get into it. So my six pack mindset secret is I believe I deserve to have a six pack. That's it. Okay, let me explain. I have a number of beliefs like that belief that align with me having six pack abs. Now here's how this works. We have these beliefs and these beliefs that we hold are constantly keeping us in alignment with certain actions. Because if you believe something to be true, you're gonna do whatever it takes to make it true in the physical world. Because beliefs actually occur in the subconscious level. When we take action and we're doing things in our lives, a lot of that is happening, of course, consciously. The thing is, we don't realize that a lot of our conscious actions actually stem from our subconscious beliefs. So, the key to creating any outcome you want in your life, for me, for example, six pack abs, was believing I deserved to have it, believing I was the kind of person who had it, believing I have enough time to commit to my health, believing I have enough money to commit to my health. All those beliefs that align with the action I wanna take, I hold so I can create that outcome. So believe it or not, it's actually more painful for me to not take the actions that align with having six pack abs than it is to take the actions. So I know personally that there's a couple habits I need to keep in place to have six pack abs. And this applies to literally anyone in the world. If you don't know my other channel, it's Jump Rope Dudes. Um, at the time making this video, we have over 800,000 subscribers and we have thousands of people who have taken the exact advice I'm sharing with you right now, which is, if you exercise with intensity for at least 30 minutes a day, five times a week, and you are also eating in a slight calorie deficit, you are going to lose body fat and get yourself down to a low enough body fat percentage to where you have six pack abs. Now I know that those two habits right there, tracking my food, eating the right amount, and also hitting these workouts, align with the ideal outcome that I want, which is the six pack abs. Now for me personally, I don't actually even consciously think to myself, okay, uh, I really wanna create six pack abs. It's actually just a part of who I am because it's so closely tied in with my beliefs. So for you, for example, if you struggle with your weight before, or maybe you've always had that last layer of fat, you may have subconscious limiting beliefs that say you don't deserve, or you don't have the time, you don't have the money, the resources, the information to get six pack abs. And the reason why I'm using six pack abs as the example here is because I've been able to maintain this since I went through my transformation from around 20, 21 years old. From that point on to today, 30 years old, the last nine years I've had six pack abs every single day. And the reason is not because I have some crazy genetics. I used to be you know, quite a bit overweight. The reason was because I changed my belief system and I believed that I deserved it and I could create this outcome. And so all my actions now align with those beliefs. Okay, so here it is. Step one, get clear on the outcome, whether it's the six pack abs or to have, make more money or find your purpose or get your dream husband or wife, whatever your ideal outcome is, you need to start there and get complete clarity about what that is. And once you have that, you need to ask yourself, do I have any limiting beliefs that currently exist that are holding me back from creating that outcome? And if you do, write those out. Write down all the old beliefs that exist or holding you back right now. So if it's for six pack abs, if you have the belief that, you know, uh, I don't have, I believe I don't have the genetics to have six pack. Okay, 
That's bullshit. Anyone has genetics to have a six pack. So what you write under that is new belief. I believe my genetics allow me to have a six pack, right? You're, you're writing the opposite thing. And you're writing out all the other old limiting beliefs you have around this thing. You're replacing with new beliefs that align with the outcome that you want. In addition, you can add any other empowering beliefs that you know you need to hold. For example, I believe I have the discipline to work out five times a week, or I believe I have, am conscientious enough to track all the food that I eat. Whatever beliefs you know that you need to have to empower that outcome, you need to make sure you hold those. Now, you may be thinking, how do I change these beliefs? Well, step one is just writing it out and having that awareness. Step two would be taking these new beliefs recording them on an audio file, like on your phone, like a, a voice note, and then listening to them every morning when you're just waking up and every night when you're going to sleep. This is actually feeding these new beliefs into your subconscious mind and with enough repetition, they will become your new beliefs. And when they do, you'll feel way more aligned. It'll be a lot easier for you to show up and take those actions. Now, I don't want to leave you there because, because yes, the number one mindset secret is you need to believe in the outcome and you need to believe it's possible you need to believe you can do it but of course there's all the actions that have to go with that so that goes without saying the beliefs will empower your actions but make sure as well you put the habits in place to actually take the action to get the outcome that you want so that's it you can see how it applies to six-pack abs you can see how that can apply to just about anything you can imagine so whether you want to get a six-pack or you want any other outcome in your life that is the mindset secret to make it happen. Now, I hope I was very clear in this video. If you would like to go deeper with this, uh, I do have a app that I created that actually teaches you this stuff. It helps you reprogram your subconscious beliefs. So if you're interested, the app is available, linked in the description below, and you guys can always apply to work with me as well. So you had a couple options there. And as I said in the beginning of the video, you also have the free mental fitness training guide workbook available in the description as well. So all that good stuff, all the resources you need to be successful. So thank you so much for watching this video today. Subscribe if you haven't already. Drop any questions you may have in the comment section below. And I'll catch you on the next video.